FOP is really one of the most enigmatic and horrible of bone diseases. It afflicted Harry Eastlack, who died in 1973, aged 39. He bequeathed a skeleton to science, convinced future generations of researchers would be able to solve the riddle hidden within his bones. Harry's skeleton is an architectural nightmare. It is the skeleton of a normal man, which has been encased in another skeleton, but one that makes no anatomical sense whatsoever, a skeleton composed of arbitrary trusses, buttresses, traverses, and plates of bone, a skeleton that is pure anatomic irrationality. Like Harry Eastlack, Carol Orzel suffers from FOP. Most of me is fused together. My back from my neck all the way down is totally fused. Well, when I was a baby, I had lumps in the back of my neck that were really bad, and they were painful, and they were getting real red and sore, and, and I would scream because it was hard. And all I can remember is being in the hospital and me screaming. The doctor told my mother that I wasn't gonna live for a very long time and I wouldn't live past two. Well, I'm going to be 45 next year and the doctor is dead. In FOP, cells that should become muscle turn into bone. It's a rare phenomenon. We would no more expect it than we would expect the heart to turn into a spleen or else an eyeball. <laughs> 